That is the most ridiculous song. Come on, I love welcome, that. Welcome to Paranormal Hangover. <laughs> I quit. If you don't like my music, go home. I felt like it was watching. I felt like it's like the Jersey Shore, this pump out summer song. <laughs> See? Christine CM can't like the song. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't like this? You don't like this? You're all fist pumping. <laughs> Come on, you gotta love that. Everybody's fist pumping right now. We're already. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so, hi everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Paranormal Hangover. <laughs> I wish I was hungover right now. But... I don't. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I'm good on that, especially in the heat. Oh my gosh. So, tonight, Jeff Belanger. Yes. Jeff Belanger, Mr. If You Don't Know Him, then shame on you because he's involved in everything. Yeah. So you should know Jeff Belanger by the end of this show. Not saying you know everything about him because I didn't, but I still know who he was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that bad. I, he, you know something? For a team based out of Massachusetts like we are, yeah. and Jeff's so heavily involved in everything in Massachusetts, yeah. I'm amazed our paths haven't crossed yet. Yeah, true. We, we, I know about his legend trippers and mm-hmm. everything that he does. Just never got to any of them yet. Yeah. Well, so. he's a busy man. I mean, he lectures. Oh, yeah, he yeah. travels around. He does a lot of um, events, yeah. so to speak. So, yeah. he's, he's just hanging around in Salem, you know. And he's an intelligent guy. He Very knows, intelligent. He knows a lot about what we do and about everything else. So, yeah. um, we also have uh, our good friend Christine CMK yeah. coming on a little bit later. Woo-hoo. She'll be here about 7.45 to talk about her team, Quest Paranormal, mm-hmm. out of uh, Northwest Connecticut. Mm-hmm. And uh, talk about what they like to do. So yeah. we know Christine very well. She's been to a lot of our events uh, when we were with GHH. Yeah. Um, at uh, the Fort and Proctor's and all kinds of other places. Yeah. So. Penhurst. Penhurst. Oh, yep. my God. Penhurst. I love that place. <laughs> so um, in any event. Sometimes. I know, right? Because in the chit-chat room. Well, we have plenty of people in the chat room right now, but some people are saying they can't hear the show. What is going on with that? I don't know. I don't know why they can't hear the show. I think I think we're on. Doesn't look like we're muted or anything like that. So, but I, I think it's maybe it's just technical difficulties on their end. I hope so. Hope we're not just talking for nothing. <laughs> well, if we are blog talk, it's still recording it. Oh, that's true. So that'll that'll pass through. That's good. Good then. Anyway. Anywho. If our uh, if our illustrious uh, producer uh, slash station owner Dennis can throw that link up the the. Uh, the link that everybody knows of. I can't remember. Yeah. It's like night something something or other. Anyway, let's just keep on rolling. Forget all the, the chat yeah. and stuff. So, let's talk about us. We haven't done that enough. And we do have an event coming up. Yes, we do. In nine days. Nine days. Is it nine days already? Nine oh, my God. Nine days. times. Nine. Nine times. Our event's going to be at, during 11 Z's. <laughs> <laughs> 11 Z's. <laughs> Uh, so, cheese ball. Love it. Lizzie Borden. Yeah. She took an axe, whacked up her dad, whacked up her mom. Yep. That's the end of the story. And we got a haunted house. Yep. So, we're going to be there Friday, the 29th. Woo! There's two tickets left to the event. Two. Those. Those two tickets will no longer be available after Sunday. Okay. So, Sunday is the last day. It's a cutoff day. If they're not sold, oh well. Uh, it's still going to be an incredible event. Just a little bit more room for everybody else who's there. Yep. So, two tickets remaining. You can go to www.mghparanormal.com. Dot com. And right there at the top of the page says Lizzie Borden event. Can't yeah. get any more clear. Well worth it, man. Well worth it. Uh, oh, other updates yeah. for our website. We uh, added some things to our web store. Yes, we did. Uh, by the grace of Pete Stagman. Yes. I'm not going to say God, but by the grace of Pete Stagman. <laughs> who uh, runs Para Hunter. Mm-hmm. He's also the creator of the POV full-spectrum glasses, glasses that you've seen on Ghost Hunters. On Ghost Adventures. Ghost Not Hunters, Ghost, Ghost Adventures. Adventures, just Ghost Hunters. Ghost Hunters. Ghost Hunters. I don't know. Uh, Sorry, they'll have spiked hair these days. Jay Hawes. He doesn't have any hair. <laughs> Jay Hawes was the first one to wear them. Um, <laughs> so Pete had it, and he, he, uh, he has those POV glasses, which we now mm-hmm. can sell from our uh, store on mghparanormal.com. Yep. POV glasses? Yep, and they do have their own IR unit for those as well. So, in any event, we got the POV glasses. We still got the Lizzie event. You can always buy T-shirts and hoodies and bumper stickers and yeah. just love Mass Ghost Hunters Paranormal love Society. Love us! Love us like we love you. <laughs> really? 
<laughs> Creepy. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Um, Can they still not hear us, or are we good? Oh, I don't care. We're just wow. gonna go. Some people say it's awesome. Some people say uh, it's breaking up. So oh, okay. I'm breaking up with them. I'm breaking up, breaking up with you. I blog talk. <laughs> what else is new? I don't know. I hope we have fun tonight. Yeah, we will. Can we get Belanger? We got the kick, ass, the kick ass intro music. I don't care if you don't like it. Kick ass intro music. I just, you know, <laughs> I'm bitter. I'm bitter because the original song. Got, I know. Got the cut. Well, you know, since Denny explained to us that got music licensing cut. is like you need a license for the license of the license. Yeah. And then if you play a song at 1 o'clock, you need a new license. If you play it again at 2 o'clock. Yeah. And you need, so like, written permission for every <laughs> minute of every day. It's a nightmare for, uh, for you just basically need, need live chat with uh, the rights people for the songs. Yeah, pretty much. So. Hey, can I play it now? Is that cool? Awesome. Yeah. No, no. Too many people are playing it. You can't play it it's right now. It's a go. Now. It's a go. <laughs> Good Lord. But we, so, yeah, we got that going on with... Uh, our new song. It was a trial tonight. If nobody mm-hmm. liked it, then we'll we'll do a different one next week. Do a different one. So I kind of liked it though. It was kind of catchy. A yeah, upbeat. Like it's everybody pumped up like, yeah, it's a rave. <laughs> yeah, and you expect uh, the white man overbite. You expect a situation to come on. Oh my you god. You know, and you start talking, and you you get us. So you're right. You almost fell. Yeah, I almost fell. That would have been bad. Lauren just almost smashed her face <laughs> off our counter just now. That was fantastic. Everybody <laughs> who's listening in, it's like you paint a pretty picture. Her feet slipped off the chair. She doesn't reach the floor. So she she was trying to move surprised. and she slipped off the chair and almost hit her face. Um, That's not surprising. <laughs> Come on, really? I don't reach the floor. No, duh. So um, our website, we talked about that. We talked about Lizzie Borden. We talked about the new stuff in the web store. Yeah. Um, oh, we, anybody in earshot who lives in Massachusetts, we are going to be at the Victorian Mansion in Gardner, Mass. on Sunday. Yeah, from I, 2 to 6. I believe Steve and Naomi are going to be there doing interviews. Mm-hmm. Um, but we'll be there as well because we've had some incredible experiences. Uh, our Wicked Weather weatherman had some incredible experiences with us there too. Mm-hmm. So we'll be there chatting it up with people, talking about some stuff, and uh, having there's a good a, old time. But there's a reason why we're going to be there. Well, there is. I was there's waiting for you to jump in on that. Because Ms. Joni Mahan is having a book signing. Her book, Bones in the Basement, about uh, Edwin and Lillian's experiences. Yep. And uh, other people's experiences as well, including ours. That's right. We have a chapter in there. Well, chapter, chapter 31, page 194. Not that I've memorized, <laughs> but that's where we are. Me and my doofy grin are right there on the front. <laughs> so we're there. We're going to be there saying hi to everybody. Uh, Joni's going to be there signing books. And uh, I think there's going to be some tours getting thrown around and people looking around. So nice. Should be a good time. If you can make it out, uh, Google SK Pierce Mansion or the Victorian Mansion, Gardner Mass, and you'll be able to find the address. Uh, it's a very creepy place, even in the daytime. Yeah. So we, I think we, it's more creepy in the daytime, actually, than at night. Well, yeah. it's pretty active during the day, too. Mm-hmm. So um, I am not guarantee anything happening, but something will probably happen. And if you do go and you walk through the door, have a digital recorder running because... And almost immediately. You, you will get evidence, like, immediately for that. Yeah. So I'm going to have Lauren do a little song and dance for a moment while I try and dial up our first guest of the what evening. Do want, what do you want me to sing? I, I don't know. Just talk to the people. Hi, people. Do you want, what do you want? What do you want to talk about? Keep talking. Come on. I don't know, I gotta, I gotta I don't know what to talk about. There's nothing going on today. I'm actually pretty excited to speak to Jeff. There's a lot of uh, a lot of questions I have for him. I was watching his uh, his uh, TEDx uh, lecture, which TED is TEDx is this group, uh, this organization that was started back in 1984, and they basically have like a format for doing lectures. Oh, and I'm getting cut off. We're getting rings. Sorry. Hello? Is this Mr. Jeff Belanger? It is. How are you? Oh. (laughs) Hello, Jeff. (laughs) Hello. We are so happy to have you on tonight. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah, no, it should be fun. Paranormal Hangover. That's great. I mean, I feel like I've had one of those for like 10 years. (laughs) (laughs) That's the whole point. Thank you. Thank you. He gets it. (laughs) (laughs) So for those of you, again, I I teased a little bit uh, earlier. Uh, Jeff is... God, he's he's knee deep in everything in the paranormal uh, that I can tell anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, he's an author, you know, he got like twelve plus books. Founder of the Legend Tripping Movement, GhostVillage.com, Thirty Odd Minutes. Uh, writer, producer for New England Legends. Not that I'm reading this, but I am. Um, <laughs> lecturer and and uh, and man extraordinaire. Is that is that a fair statement? Totally fair. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, that sounds good. You might, I also uh, have uh, worked as the writer and researcher for every single episode of Ghost Adventures. I don't know if people are watching that out there, but 
I, uh, that's one of the other things I do. Yeah. yeah that's, uh, I always see the name of the credits. I'm like, ah, I want to meet him and talk with him so badly. Yep. Um, that's so funny. You watch funny. the credits. You're, between <laughs> you and my mom, that's two. I, I watch everything. You never know. Good. I'm waiting for that moment when at the end, you know, like a scary face pops up. When You know when you go on your laptop and somebody goes, watch this video? That's yeah. what I'm waiting for. Oh, did you see that, man? Run it, run it. No, that's good. I'm I'm glad you're watching. I I wanna. I'd like to start this evening off um, because it just seems like there's really no other place for it. But I'd I'd like to start off with uh, talking a little bit about something I know that's kind of important to you. Um, You sit on the board of directors of the Newtown Memorial Fund, correct? Yeah, actually, I, I did that for a year. I'm no longer on the board, but I did uh, help launch it, get it off the ground, and um, and we did that for a year. That's Newtown or, or Sandy Hook is really my old hometown, and um, so yeah, that's that's something that was definitely uh, hit home for me, hit pretty hard. Uh, I went to that elementary school as a kid, and um, and I have a daughter who's uh, now seven years old. So at the time, she was roughly the same age as most of the victims. So that one really hit me. Yeah, and, and you and you're an alum. Of, of Sandy Hook, correct? That's right. Yeah, I was there in fifth grade, and um, and so when this happened, my my whole family still lives in town. My parents still live in the same house I grew up in, just a mile from the school. And so, I, I mean, I, I pass, I I go there several times a year, and still, you know, still pass it and and see it. And it's yeah, it's it's a crazy thing. It's it's a it's funny because where I grew up, it was just just small town USA, you know, and, and I used to tell people, oh, yeah, you know, I grew up in Connecticut, small town, and they wouldn't ask any more than that. And if I said, well, you know, Newtown or Sandy Hook, they'd never heard of it, which is fine. That's kind of how small small town America is supposed to be. And right. then uh, and now everybody's heard of it. And now I don't tell people because it's like it's it's just this awkward thing, you know. I say it's like farting in a car now when you just like, you know. <laughs> Where are you from? Oh, Newtown. Oh, oh, oh. What do I say? You know, and then it just gets really weird. So it's a shame. It's a horrible, horrible tragedy that uh, still continues. I I can't even imagine uh, the the families involved and and even yourself just being an alum and knowing, oh, my God, that's where I went to school. Yeah. Um, I, I, not to put us in the same category, but 